Has your Freelander, Range Rover or Discovery developed this fault? So what the problem is, is that uh, when you lock the car, which is what I'll do now, you see the lock closes. And then when you open the car door, this is the driver's door, it doesn't open the lock. I press it again, it doesn't open the lock. And the only way to open the door is to pull the lever and pull it out that way. What you may be thinking is that you've got a, store duck, uh, 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 a stuck door mechanism down here, which is wrong. Uh, it's actually part of the locking mechanism. This is an MY10 Freelander 2, and uh, it's, a, it's a 2010 model. It was around about uh, April it was made. And I have a similar problem occurring on the passenger door. So what I have to do now is I have to take this door card off. Uh, I've never taken a door card off uh, the Freelander before on the driver's door. Um, so I have to take this door card off and uh, replace the mechanism. So to do this, there are, there's a bolt here. There are two bolts in under here. So I have to take this mechanism off. There is a little area under here, which I need to take the cap off and unscrew the bolt. And then on the front door, I have to take off this and then finally uh, remove the door card. Now I've got some tools down here, which I've bought from eBay. And this is the unit that needs to be replaced. Uh, it's uh, about 73 pounds from eBay. This is the right hand lock. And inside here are two electric motors. One unlocks the car and one locks the car. And uh, the fault is that uh, one of those motors unfortunately been quite cheap. Uh, its carbon bushes are burnt out. So we'll look at that at the end uh, once I've finished the, uh, the actual installation process and taken it to pieces. But um, this, is, uh, this is the job that I've got. Uh, it should take about an hour To make life easier, the uh, window has been taken down here because once I take the tool card out, the way to access this is I have to take the window regulator, unclip it from the, uh, the actual uh, glass and then obviously uh, pull the glass out the way, pull the regulator out the way or move it out the way and then I'll get access to it. Fortunately, we don't have any airbags in the car itself so uh, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, start taking the car to pieces. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, take uh, the, uh, this mechanism off. Obviously holds the, uh, the door. First one coming off. Okay, and then this should slide off. Right, so I've released the uh, electric window. Uh, taking the light one out. And then door lock mechanism so there's just a, a plastic clip under here that holds that in place and here you can see the, uh, the door itself some of the white ones are remaining uh, as expected a few of these have stayed in 
So, uh, with my tool. Okay, so this has to go in here, uh, and then this is the electric window mechanism. Uh, it's got a couple of nuts here and here, which need to be undone, and some bolts as well, and then a plastic retaining clip, which I guess is to, to hold the door pocket on that we had earlier. Um, I'm not going to take the ECU, disconnect the ECU, but I'm going to disconnect the electric window motor. Let's take that out first. Forward. There we go, let's come away. Now I'm going to disconnect the speaker. Let's speak away. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the speaker off. Fat one at the top, small one at the bottom. Leave that to one side. Still not sure about this speaker. I would have expected it just to drop out. Because I want to get in to this area here, and I know by taking this off that uh, that's going to be. So let's go back to having a look at the speaker again. Okay, so I can now see uh, the white regulator, so I'm going to take a photograph of that. So there's the regulator for holding on to the, um, the glass.